Hi there, Todd from System Photography. Today I'm going to show you how to select multiple images in Lightroom. This is a very simple process, but it can be a little bit confusing or daunting if you're new to Lightroom or to computing in general. There are two types of multi-image selections that we need to make when we're working or organizing our files in Lightroom. And the first of those is a sequential uh, selection. So that's a selection of images, say, from this first one here right through to this last one that's visible on screen. So to do that, it's as simple as clicking the first uh, image in your sequence, this one up here on the top left in this example, hovering over the last image in your sequence, hold down the Shift key, and that's the same whether you're using Windows or Mac, and clicking on the last image. And you'll see that all of those images, uh, from first through to last and everything in between, has been selected. We can now move those over, put them into a collection if we wanted, or uh, send them off to Photoshop, for example. If you want to deselect uh, or get rid of that selection, it's as simple as uh, clicking on any image that's not part of the selection. So we do that, and you'll see that we're no longer part of, got, have the selection active. If you're a shortcut key junkie like myself, it's just uh, Command D on the Mac, we'll deselect all, or oh, that's Control D on Windows. So the second kind of selection that we want to make, and we're commonly making, is a non-sequential selection. So we want this image here, the hands, we also want this photo here of Jack by the, uh, by the canal, and this one down here, for example. How do we do that? Very simple. Again, we click the first uh, image in our selection, hold down the Control key on Windows, or the Command key on Mac, and select the images that we want. So we created this collection of non-sequential images here as a result of using the control key on Windows or the command key on Mac. So to deselect, say we don't want this photo of Jack in there anymore, just hold that button down again, command or control, click on that, you can add another one in there. Again, to deselect is command or control D or click into a non uh, into an uh, into a image that's not part of this current selection. Now it's worth noting that I'm making my uh, selection decisions up here inside the grid view, in the main central portion of the Lightroom workspace. Uh, you can just as easily make your selections down here on the uh, film strip, and you'll notice that as I do that, the uh, the grid view selection is made at the same time and vice versa. You can see down here on the film strip uh, that it's selected also and you can drag from there up to uh, to collections or send off using your right click to Photoshop etc. Uh, so no no right or wrong way I just personally find it a lot easier to work up here in the bigger uh, grid view. So now the final uh, very cool thing I want to show you is just combining the two methods, uh, sequential and non-sequential uh, selections. So, so we make a sequential selection here using the shift key, these first three images, and we want this one down here as well. We just simply hold down the uh, control key on Windows and, or the command key on Mac, and we can make a non-sequential on top of a sequential. Look at that. So I hope that's helped you uh, understand how to make selections within Lightroom. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again back here. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.